Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Anastasia here on the ones and twos. Please and for us. So this tutorial today is gonna be very full coverage and very glam. Today I'm recording for a Sephora video. So I had to go really, you know, extra, you know, have in my contacts and my highlight is a little bit more highlighted than normal because I'm gonna be on heavy, I'm gonna have on like heavy lights and stuff like that. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I probably might do a, a second video because this one is gonna be a little bit long and I'm going to go in a little bit more details and talk a little bit more technique wise in this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. For my OGs, thank you guys so much for coming back. And let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay guys, let's get started. As you guys know, uh, my brows are already done. Today I'm wearing the Benefit Brow Pencil in number five. I use Makeup Forever Concealer for the cleaning up. And I'm jumping into a palette that was a Christmas palette from Tarte. You can't necessarily find this palette anymore. It's very seasonal, so every year brands will come out with palettes that's catered to whatever is happening like Christmas, spring, all that kind of stuff. So the chances of you finding this palette again might be slim to none. So we're going to jump right into that burgundy color and that's going to be my transitional color. Um, because I have burgundy hair, I am keeping up with the team and using burgundy as my base for my eye look today. I want everything to coexist. I want everything to make sense. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pat that color. I'm just doing sweeping motions and blending one time so that I can not have to do it all over again. As you know, sometimes I tap the color in first and then blend it out. But for this particular formula, I find that it works better when you just apply and blend as opposed to patting it on like I'm accustomed to. And don't be afraid to pack that color in and blend as much as you want because you know you want your finished look to be well blended. Now I'm going to go into a darker burgundy to darken up the outer edge because I want it to be as pigmented as possible. And if you notice I'm just keeping that color on the outer V and pushing the color inwardly. With this one, I'm tapping it right where I want it to be, and then I'm going in and feathering it in the eye. So I'm always blending inwardly, then outwardly, if that makes sense.
And this tutorial is definitely in real time because I want to guys to show you guys how long it takes for me basically to get my desired look. Which is not that long, but it's so long in my opinion. So now I'm going in and cutting my crease. As you guys know, I always like to use like a very bright um, concealer to cut my crease. This one is from Hourglass. I really, really like it because it dries and matte and it's trend for poof and all that good stuff. So I really like using it as my eyeshadow base. And remember, the lighter your concealer is when you're cutting your crease is the more brighter whatever color you're going to put down is going to look. Because I'm jumping in with my glitter from my company, I really want it to pop. So I'm going to be putting on a gold color on the cut crease and then place my glitter on the top. Love it, love it, love it. Now that I'm comfortable with the cut crease, I'm going to go in with that gold. And this is a gold shimmer from the same palette. Why I use that? Because it's a very bright gold. And that's what I need because the, the glitter that I use is a very shiny glitter. It's one of my favorite glitters to use from my company, Lash Me Beat. You can definitely cap any of my lashes and all that good stuff on my website. So you can check it out for yourself. The best way to pack your colors on to your concealer or your cut crease is basically patting it section by section and just stamping that product in and also do light blending as well so you can have a very smooth application. So anytime you're doing a cut crease like mine's, you want to always go back into that first color and blend those two colors together. Merge the dark color with the light color into the shimmer. And that's what you see I'm doing here. So you're gonna eventually see that I don't have any harsh lines 
and everything is blended to perfection and I go back and forth just to make sure that they are seamless and they look really really blended and you see I'm going over the cut crease and putting that same first color down because I wanted to have a very big distinction between the cut crease and the color that I placed on first. Now is definitely for the start, time for the start of the show. My chunky glitters. Now I have six different chunky glitters, all at different color but I love the gold and I also love the translucent silver I'm gonna be playing with some more of my products um in that tutorials going forward because I want you guys to really get into the quality products that I do have so when I'm putting on my glitter especially over my eyes I like to bend forward so anything debris that falls down it doesn't fall onto my face and all of that. And you see how these two goals just match really, really nicely. And then I'm going to be lining my water, my lash line, sorry. And I'm not making a wing or anything. I'm just wanting to put down this line just so that my lashes can lie comfortably because there's a big distinction between my eyes and the chunky glitter so you want to fill that gap and that's what I'm doing with the liner and this is a perfect technique now that you can see how you can clean up your shadow to make it look very very crisp so I want to have a cat eye effect, so I'm going to take the concealer and I'm going to clean it up so that it gives me that snatch look. And I'm going to be pulling down the extra product down under my eyes because it's going to be my concealer that I'm going to be using. And this is from Makeup Forever. So I'm already pre-prepping my face and having that sharp V. Cause that's the look that I'm going for, more of a cat eye effect. So at this point, I'm just adding my foundation and my concealer one time, and then I'm going to go out and blend, 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 blend. And then I'm going to go back in with some more concealer if I feel I need to, but I definitely need some more brightness under my eyes. So I'm going to use the same bright, bright, bright concealer that I use under to do my cut crease um, under my eyes and you guys are gonna see that little technique that I use just to brighten up the face So right at this point, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder from one side. That is the clear translucent powder. And then I'm going to go in with my all over powder from Makeup Forever. I'm not going to keep it too long because I don't want it to bake that long. Because of the concealer is already doing what it's supposed to do. And now I'm just going to go in and seal that. You guys know that I just use any mascara in order to lay my lashes down. 
guys already know the ones and twos and the threes and fours. <laughs> Sometimes I like to put blue um, waterliner under my eyes just to pop out the look and add a different dimension to the look. So that's what I'm doing there. This pencil is from Sephora. You can find these at Sephora Collections. So I'm going to jump into my hula bronzer from Benefit again and this is obviously the dark one and I'm just going to be lightly bronzing my face and I'm going to take a flat tip brush and contour my nose and when I contour my nose I always want to go all the way up to my my brows and bring it all the way down to my nose. And that's how I prefer to contour it and I go into my fingers and just soften it up so it doesn't look as harsh. And you know my fateful I'm going in with some burgundy blush. I put on way too much today but that's okay. We're going in front of bright lights, so it's going to definitely show up. So surprisingly, I didn't use any lip liner today. I don't know why, but I didn't. I'm gonna jump into about two to three different Sephora collection lip stain in order to create the look that you see today. What I did, I went in with the eyeshadow in a brown color and I went in and lined my lips with that and it worked out pretty good. What I did, put on the matte lipstick first and as it dries, I'm adding that contour color to it so it can dry with it so it becomes matte if that makes sense <laughs> so instead of using a pencil i just use the shadow and by the time it's drying down everything is going to be matte and then i put in a lighter pink in the middle and that's my lips
I really use a lot of Benefit products today. So this is one of the old palettes. It's a highlighting palette and I'm just going to use that to highlight all of the areas that I want to highlight. And I'm taking my fingers because I want it to be, you know, a very natural application. I don't want it to be too heavy, but it ended up being heavy, but that's okay. <laughs> We still work with it. At the end of the day, I looked flawless. Hey guys, so this is... I did my makeup for 9.30. And now it is after six. As you can see, I'm so recording, you know. <laughs> and my makeup, I just changed my lip because I ate and it came off, so I just did it back. It's a little bit more brighter, but it is what it is. But this is how the makeup hold up. Definitely with the right lighting, makeup will definitely be flawless and all of that jazz. But.